Good morning and welcome again to my study on this Wednesday morning. Well, I've been thinking, as I sometimes do, about how things have changed in my lifetime. And I think one of the things that's really changed, particularly in recent years, is that everything has to be instant. It has to happen straight away. If you want something, you simply go online, you make a few clicks, go onto Amazon or other sites are available, and the thing you want arrives the next day. There's no waiting, there's no excitement in it, you just do it and it's there. And I have to say that that's so different to when I was younger, when you remember the times we used to have to go to shops, look around, see what we wanted, or perhaps look at a uh, some sort of catalogue and see what we wanted and then when we decided what we wanted we had to place an order and we had to wait until that order arrived until the thing we wanted came to us it wasn't instant it wasn't the next day I can still remember the first furniture we ordered when we were married we all knew what we wanted we found what we wanted we placed the order and for the next six weeks we sat on deck chairs but it was really exciting when the furniture came. We actually had to build it ourselves, even in those days. But it was wonderful. There's that excitement that you get for having waited. That excitement you get because it wasn't there and you were actually a bit fed up with the deck chairs. And I have to say, that waiting, that building of excitement, I think is really something that in some ways we've lost in these past few years and yet that having to wait having to save up money having to wait till you've got enough money not having a credit card you've got put it on built something that I think sometimes we miss and I was walking around my road the other day and was surprised to see that people had already got their Christmas decorations up and I thought this can't be right, it's not Christmas yet, it's only November. But that's the other side, isn't it, of the instant. Being early with things, because that builds excitement. And we as Christians have to wait. We can't rush Christmas coming. We can't rush the coming of the Christ child. We can't go onto a computer and punch a few buttons and then it's Christmas and here's Christ. We have to wait. But I think in that waiting, particularly if we use it to get ready, there is a joy that isn't there in the instant. And as we come up to that time we call Advent, that's what we should be doing. We will, of course, be having our usual Advent Compline on Monday evenings. If you don't already and you want to join us, let Claire know. It's a nice community. It's a lovely service. And it helps us to prepare, to get ready, not to have the instant thing that we always seem to want these days. Well, I don't think we want it all the time, but that we seem to get these days. So if you're thinking, well, it's a bit early for all this, just remember that getting ready, that waiting, that preparing ourselves is really good for us in whatever we do. Whenever we want something, let's just take a step back, think about it, get ready for it. Because I think in that waiting, in that uninstant, if that's a word, activity, we can learn so much. So enjoy the coming few weeks. Let's not try and be instant all the time. And let's make sure that we are ready for the coming of Christ. Amen.